Number nine then from the 2018 SQA Higher Maths Paper 1. Just a wee three mark question on vectors. You've got this diagram here and it looks like you've just got to travel around this framework Toblerone to express first of all BC, where it's there, BC in terms of U and T. We'll just figure out a path. If you want BC, then what other route could you find that would take you from B to C? And it says in terms of T and U, so that's the path I'm going to follow. You could go but if you like, you could go way over there and down and back there and back there and over there. You can follow any path you like, it'll always give the same answer. The simplest one is to go from, I'll just show the working, if you go from B to A, and then you go from A to C. So going from B to A, you're traveling against the flow of T. That's a negative T. And then from A to C, you're going with U. So it's negative T plus U for the first mark. Or you could rearrange that to say U minus T. Now in part B, same again, only this time you want MD. You want to start at M and finish at D. Well, what path could you follow then? If you have to start at M to get to D, well, you could go up to B first of all, down to A and along to D. Or since in the first part you know BC, you could head off that way then. So that's the path I'll follow. I'll go from M to C, then C to A. Then finally A to D and you'll arrive at your destination. Now M to C is half of the answer in the first part. So I don't know if you'd have to state that explicitly. That just means I'm going to write it all again. Oh, okay, I'll just write it all again. So it's a half of BC plus CA plus AD. Don't know if I need to do that. Now, finding an appropriate pathway was one mark. The other mark's just for putting in the bits and pieces. So, BC was, those two parts, negative T plus U, or you could put U minus T. CA, against U. AD, that was that V that hadn't had a shot yet, now it comes in. Now, in fact, doing that gets you the last mark. So, I just need to tidy it up. I think I will tidy it up. Because V's on its own, as a positive. U, there's a half, but take away one, so it's minus a half U. And it's also minus a half T. But apparently they let you off here in the unsimplified form. I would still simplify it in a future exam though.